Hey, and welcome back everyone to Persona 4 Golden. So let's see what's going on with the family. <laughs> what are you up to, Nanako? Uh, nothing much happened. Wait, what? Y yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, okay. And yeah, we need to rest. Now, apparently there is a way to get that big boost in your stats from putting all the dolls and miniatures and everything on your shelf, but I think it involves you having to put... I think you put one of the mechs in the top left and you fill the rest out with the Persona dolls and in the bottom right you put another mech and it tricks the game into thinking that you've done all the models and gives you the big stat boosts for it. Though by the time you do all that anyways you should theoretically have all your stats maxed so eh? Valentine's? Oh. Hmm. Talk to me and stuff, huh? Oh, let's see. I'm sorry, Yukiko. Ah, I'm sorry, Chie. You mention me like that, I'm just saying no in principle. Oh, no. We, we don't talk like that. See me tomorrow after... Tomorrow? Is in the 15th? What? Yeah, Naoto. Although you can also decline everybody and just hang with the guys. Yo! Hey, how you doing, man? It was fine. But let's hope everybody else forgot. But you know, I I know they didn't. What? You got this. <laughs> this entire game, though, we never learned that guy's story and why he's sprinting to school every day. Uh. Hmm? Oh, forgot we just had exams. I bet you I'm top of the class again. As always. Not really needed because uh, this is... This is kind of our last real day. I do now I'm gonna hang out here for a bit longer but I don't know what to do I feel like there's anything for me to do at home anyway oh I got it I'll go up to the roof or something are you gonna jump I'm, I'm gonna be behind school building you know just because <laughs> hoping for chocolate most of the girls are already gone hey and all these guys are obsessed with chocolate. If they want candy so much, why don't they just buy some themselves? I I don't think you understand how this works, Kanji. Are you serious? This is the one day you shouldn't be buying chocolate for yourself. Yeah? Man, you're clueless. Whatever. I know I'm getting some for sure today. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that pathetic. Come on, man. 
<laughs> I had to bust your balls, I'm sorry. Which, I've been playing a lot of Helldivers 2 lately. He voices freaking Helldiver 2's voice, so hearing Yosuke screaming, Sweet Liberty, my leg! After a bomb goes off is just... It's amazing to me. I can get quite a lot from part-time workers at Jeunesse. That's kind of sad, dog. Not gonna lie, that's kind of sad. <laughs> the important thing is that I have any at all. I mean, yeah. Right, Chie-san? Yukiko-san? I see you've got some big bags with you today. Oh no, please don't do this at the same time. Wow, that's not the sound of desperation or anything. Yeah, I do have some. Uh, Yukiko, why don't you hand yours out first? N no, you first, Chie. I, I can't. Not here. Oh no. Wait, why? <gasps> Is it? Oh no. Please no. You know, I, I like candy. <laughs> Kanji, take the hint. We're both out of the picture now. Oh no. Oh, are you guys handing out chocolate? Great timing. Here you go, Chie Senpai, for always being so hardworking. Why me? It's not because today's for giving out chocolate to the people you like, right? It's a great day to say thank you to all those people in your life, not just your romantic partner. Thank you, Rise. Wow, putting a new spin on things. She's so thoughtful. Must be all those years in showbiz. <laughs> That's okay. Hey, what about him? Yeah, there's, no, there's nothing about me. Shut up. I'll give him his chocolate later. I've got some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll call you soon. What? Does that mean... Oh. I feel like everyone's super curious about who I'm going to hand my special chocolate to. If I do it now, it'll be embarrassing. It just sounds like a euphemism. So, see you later. I'm dead. Well, I have some other people to give chocolate to. Bye. I'm so dead. Oh, hey, Naoto-kun. What's up? Oh, well... Didn't you say that you're not the kind of person who gives chocolate to just anybody? Oh, no. Sorry, that was a little mean. But I'm serious, too, and I'm not gonna lose. Senpai? I don't think we can Hasso Toby our way out of this one, guys. <clears throat> Senpai, I have to talk to you later, so I'll see you then. <laughs> what was all that? That's my funeral approaching. Oh well, Kanji. Guess we're spending time with each other today. Sure, why not? <laughs> Kanji. <laughs> Oh! Attention, everyone! I have chocolates here with everyone's names on them. Please take your candy and go home. Okay. I'm so dead. If you can't find yours, come see me later. That's it. Dismissed. Any questions? I'm getting cremated for sure. Come on, what are you doing? You've got to make a decision right now. Oh. Uh, uh, me, me too. I I've got candy for everybody but you, so uh, I'll see you later. I, I'm so dead. What the hell, man? What kind of crazy voodoo are you doing to be such a chick magnet? You don't want to know I found the answers on the internet. How can one guy be so popular with the ladies? What? Senpai's popular? Whoa, that's impressive. Anji, where do you go? What's impressive is how clueless you are. Yeah, I should have went home. 
I, I, I should have sprinted home immediately after school. Yep, and this is where the game makes you feel bad. Sorry for being such a spaz just now in front of everybody. Uh. Here, this is yours. It's a, a little different from everyone else's. What do you mean different? You, um, do, do you have something else to do today? I'm not doing anything, so uh, maybe I'll go with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the game just makes you feel freaking terrible. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I won't do that. <laughs> no. <sighs> Don't worry. I won't ask anything about today or if you have someone else. I believe in you. But it's still a little sad. <laughs> what am I saying? I'm asking too much. <sighs> I'll call you later. Yeah, for the record, don't don't ever do this to someone you actually care about. This is a game, so it's all jokes, it's fun, but don't, don't ever do this to people you actually care about. And now it's gonna keep on piling it on. I didn't mean to have that come out like that, but I couldn't go back. Um, this is for you. It's a bit large. Yeah? Actually, I was thinking that we could go somewhere together after this and share it. Just the two of us. The box is kind of lopsided, maybe? I can't really tell. That's just me. I'm kidding myself. Uh, where are you going after this? What are you gonna do? I'm just not even gonna try to... You're not telling your girlfriend what you're doing. On Valentine's Day. <sighs> I... I am your girlfriend, right? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I just get worried sometimes. I'm crazy, aren't I? Yeah, don't gaslight people like that it's either. not that I don't have any trust in you. Especially when you're taking advantage of somebody's feelings like this, that's just not okay. I guess I'm not that confident about who I am. And I think of you as someone that I can't have all to myself. It's strange. moment, I was thinking that maybe you wouldn't even come. Here, this is yours. It's special, just for you. Huh. Well, now where are you going? Who are you going to see? It's a girl, isn't it? Reese already knows, so there's no... Ugh, that was mean. I didn't want to say that. But you're the one who's making me turn so mean. I'm your girlfriend, and I can't even go on a date with you on Valentine's Day. I guess that if whatever it is is a big deal to you, I can't complain. But I'm not just gonna take it lying down. This isn't fun and games. I'm serious about you. I hate this. I always feel like a mess when it comes to dealing with you. Sorry, I don't want to trouble you. I'm sorry. Yeah, and here's the one happy.
It's quiet. Um, sorry about what happened back at the school. Oh, believe me, I'm I'm much more sorry. This is the one where they don't make it comedic. Persona 3 makes it comedic, which, fair enough, because it's forced, if you want to finish all social links. This one gives you the option, and they make you feel freaking horrible about it. Five, it goes back to being a bit more comedic. So... I didn't have to say it like that in front of everyone, but... I was just so nervous about today. Mmm... Anyway... Here... I, at first, I had it all wrapped up in some cute little package. But <laughs> I took it off, because it was too embarrassing carrying that around. <laughs> oh. But maybe I should have kept it the way it was. Nah. Still, I made it with you in mind. Please accept it. And, um, well, if you could. Oh, of course. That yeah, sounds like her. I guess I did an okay job. I mean, what did I expect? I made it exactly the way the book said to. Yeah, I could trust Naoto with cooking, so... I started out wanting to make something that reflected how I really felt, but I couldn't think of anything. When I'm with you, I start to lose sight of the identity I've created for myself. I'm blurring, becoming something new. I want to be happy with who I am, but I want you to be happy with who I am, too. And then I start wondering if I'm changing myself for my benefit or if I'm doing it for your approval and what that means about me. I think I want you to help me figure out who I really want to be. That's not something I can really do, Because but... I know that if you're happy with who I am, then I don't need anyone else's approval but my own. That's one way to look at it. So, you're saying that you like who I am now? I don't need to change myself for you? No. Oh. I'm so immature. I hate it. The only thing you should ever be trying to change about yourself is like a negative trait, like you're always late or you're rude. You know, things like that that actually have a tangible negative effect on life. But you shouldn't just completely alter who you are for someone else. This is the first time I've been in love. So matters of the heart are still... Difficult for me. But you've always got me figured out. You're a master detective. Or a spy. It's not fair. Stealing just my heart. If you're going to take part of me, take all of me. Hey, yo. Oh. I've never done Nautos, so... I'm about to die, aren't I? Why is it shaking? You're late. Why is it shaking? Whatever. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. 
Which I don't believe Marie's even an option, so... But why is it shaking? I have chocolate. Yes, but why is it shaking like it's going to explode? You can have it. Please to answer the question. It smells? <laughs> what what is this? That room doesn't have any eclectic Lautwitz. I did the best I could, but I don't know if it turned out any good. Uh sorry. It, it, it's fine. It, it, it is pretty incredible. Huh? It's okay? It's fine? Yeah, I've never seen chocolate uh, move. Huh. What do you mean, incredible? Oh shit, she found me. You can eat it. Are you sure? If you don't hurry, it'll melt. If it melts, it'll run away. Excuse me? What do you mean it'll run away? When you eat it, um, I want you to tell me whether it was good or not. Now. Oh. All the expired stuff I've been eating out of the fridge. Huh? You ate it all? That's incredible. Are you stupid? What do you mean? Was it... What was wrong with it? Well, it, it makes my work worth it. It was moving. You said if I didn't eat it, it would run away. It's still moving after I'm eating bites of... Valentine's Day isn't an actual ritual, huh? What the hell did you give me? I looked it up. I thought it was some big event. You know, a turning point of your life. I'm so lame. I was fooled. I feel stupid. Ugh. But it's not like that. I, I didn't make that chocolate just because I thought it was something I was supposed to. No, that, that makes it sound like I'm serious. Uh, well, I am serious, but... Oh, Murray. And, and, and you can just shut your stupid jerk face! I can't tell if it's butterflies in my stomach or the living thing that you made me ingest. I'm telling the truth! I never said you weren't. Look, just close your eyes. Okay. Shut up and close them! Thank you. Well... I don't really get it, but it looks like I don't just like you. I want to be with you forever and ever. I love you. I love you so much. I think this is the only one that you actually see the kiss with. This is the one I was looking forward to the most. Ding, ding, ding! You are correct! This is my favorite chocolate! Thank you, Nanako. It's sweet and yummy! Not nearly as sweet as you, though. You are freaking my priceless. My teacher said... Valentine's Day isn't just a day to give out chocolate. It's a day to say thank you to the people you care about. Nanako, why is Tanaka doing a really bad Mr. Beast impersonation on TV? Teacher gave us all chocolate. Everybody, even me. And when she gave it to me, she said, It's been tough for you. But you've done very well. Everyone tells me I'm strong for pulling through. That's 
why I said thank you back. So well mannered. And I said that my big bro and my dad are rooting for me, and that's why I can be happy again. I am proud of you. You're great. <laughs> really? Most wholesome little cinnamon bun. And then my teacher was so happy. And then she said, when someone's cheering you on, even when you're in trouble, you feel energized. Do you feel like that when I cheer you on? Me too. When you root for me, I get so happy. We're the same. Me, my dad, and your friends are all on your side. Even if you go back soon, I hope you're happy. Just notice the face on the cabinet. And I'm gonna miss this game. This was a lot of fun. I had one more chocolate. I made it myself. Uh, she's pretty good with cooking and all, so... Oh, slime. Slime, what are you doing here, buddy? I did not summon you. <laughs> the big girls taught me how to make homemade chocolate creations. Oh no, which girls? That's why I made one for you. Which ones taught you? <laughs> she said I should mix in iced coffee to add flavor. Oh dear god. Oh, and bacon. Since everyone likes bacon. Oh, please god no. Luckily, there was some bacon and iced coffee in the fridge. That makes me want to throw up just thinking about it. Risei-chan said that the chocolate should assert itself. So it needs to be either really sweet or really spicy. <laughs> You're a grown-up, big bro. So I thought you'd appreciate a bitter taste. So I put bell peppers and wheatgrass juice in it. <laughs> I think that sour chocolate sounds really assertive. So I added vinegar and ponzu sauce too. Monica, why? Yukiko said that my chocolate would have depth if I added fish. What? This is payback. So I added some fish sausage and some of Dad's fermented squid. Fish sausage? What the fuck? I'm dead. And Naoto told me she'd let me borrow a recipe book. <laughs> Naoto? And when I told her... I was already done. She told me that you'd enjoy anything that I made for you. I'm so dead. Um, big bro, thank you. I love you. I love you too. God, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> big bro? What's wrong, big bro? It was just so good. It, it was so good, I couldn't handle it. Can't hurt her feelings or let her feel sad. Hey. Good morning. Morning. Mm. Maybe. Spring. It's, it's it's still winter out here though. Hmm. Hmm. What 
What's up? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Let's have fun, guys. <laughs> Well, let's go. Make candy for everybody. Why am I frowning? There's the smile. Kanji's stare is piercing. All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Can I go answer the door? Oh yeah, that's right. Sure, go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Seeing her so cheerful like that, Nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Early, early. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. I think that's a good place to cut for today. When we come back tomorrow, we'll go ahead and wrap up the very last parts of this and say goodbye to all of our friends. So, I'll see you all then.